Would you believe that Ethiopia, an East African nation, is at the helm of the electric vehicle revolution in Africa? Despite being among the world's least developed countries, Ethiopia's progress in the EV industry is nothing short of remarkable. It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? Given its economic and infrastructural standing, it might seem unlikely for Ethiopia to be spearheading this technological shift. However, it is these very conditions that make Ethiopia's growth in the EV sector so extraordinary. Once a largely agrarian society, Ethiopia is now rapidly and enthusiastically stepping into the future. Now let's delve into the factors behind this transformation. One, Ethiopia is blessed with a wealth of renewable energy sources, including hydroelectric, wind, and solar power. This abundance allows for cost-effective and environmentally friendly charging of electric vehicles. Two, the Ethiopian government has identified the potential in this sector and actively fostered its growth. It has enacted policies to encourage the adoption of EVs and invested in the necessary supporting infrastructure. Another key factor is Ethiopia's high rate of urbanization, one of the highest in Africa, which means more and more city dwellers are, are seeking efficient, sustainable modes of transportation. Electric vehicles are a perfect fit. Consequently, Ethiopia boasts one of the highest numbers of electric vehicles on the road in Africa. The electric trend extends beyond cars to buses, taxis, and motorcycles, transforming city streets into a glimpse of the future of transportation. This commitment, a cleaner, greener future, is both commendable and surprising. It shows what can be achieved when a nation embraces change and innovation, no matter its circumstances. It is a brave leap towards a future where sustainable, clean energy is standard, not an anomaly. This is the story of Ethiopia's surprising revolution in the electric vehicle sector. Now you might wonder, what does the EV landscape in Ethiopia look like currently? Well, let's paint a picture with some statistics. In the vast vehicle market of Ethiopia, electric vehicles or EVs currently make up a small but rapidly growing segment. Over the past few years, we've seen an exponential growth in the number of EVs on Ethiopian roads. From a humble start of just a handful of electric cars a few years ago, to now thousands of them gracing the streets. When it comes to the most popular electric vehicles in Ethiopia, it's a mix of both international and local brands. Internationally recognized brands like Tesla and Nissan have found their place in the Ethiopian market, but local manufacturers are not far behind. Solaraya, an Ethiopian brand, has been making waves with its affordable and efficient models. Now, let's talk about sales growth. In the past five years, Ethiopia has seen a remarkable surge in EV sales. The total number of electric vehicles sold has doubled every year, indicating a strong and growing interest in this technology. And it's not just cars. Electric motorcycles and scooters, known locally as bajaj, are also gaining popularity, especially in urban areas. However, let's be clear. Despite this growth, EVs still occupy a small percentage of the overall vehicle market in Ethiopia. But the trend is clear. The demand for electric vehicles is on the rise, and it's rising fast. Also, it's important to note that this growth isn't happening in a vacuum. It's being driven by a combination of factors, including favorable government policies, increasing environmental awareness, and improvements in charging infrastructure. All these factors are coming together to create a conducive environment for the adoption of EVs in Ethiopia. So, what's the takeaway? While the current state of EVs in Ethiopia may still be in its early stages, the growth trajectory is promising. With the right policies and infrastructure in place, Ethiopia could very well be on the path to a greener, more sustainable future. These numbers indicate a promising future for EVs in Ethiopia, despite the challenges. The Ethiopian government is playing a crucial role in the electric vehicle revolution, implementing policies to encourage EV adoption. They are laying the groundwork for a sustainable transport future, which is commendable. However, the benefits of these measures extend far beyond the role of the government. Let's delve into the practical benefits for EV owners. Firstly, import taxes are completely waived for electric vehicles, making them more affordable. In addition, the government has rolled out generous subsidies to offset the initial purchase cost, further reducing the financial barriers to owning an EV. There are also other incentives, such as free parking in city centers and the use of bus lanes for electric vehicles. 
These practical measures can significantly ease the daily life of an electric vehicle owner. But the advantages of this revolution aren't confined to just the financial or practical aspects. The adoption of electric vehicles is a significant step towards combating climate change. By encouraging the use of EVs, the Ethiopian government is effectively reducing the country's carbon emissions. This is a clear demonstration of their commitment to sustainability and environmental responsibility. Hence, this movement isn't just about transforming transportation in Ethiopia. It's about setting an example for other nations and about fostering a bright and sustainable future. But what about charging these electric vehicles? Is Ethiopia ready for that? In the grand scheme of electric vehicle adoption, one of the pivotal aspects is the charging infrastructure. Ethiopia, like many developing countries, is grappling with the challenge of setting up a robust charging network. As of today, the country has a limited number of charging stations, most of which are concentrated in the capital, Addis Ababa. However, the outlook isn't all bleak. There are ambitious plans underway to expand this infrastructure. The government, in collaboration with private companies, is keen on increasing the number of charging stations across the country. The aim is to ensure that no matter where you are in Ethiopia, you're never too far from a charging station. But setting up this infrastructure isn't a walk in the park. It's a task that comes with its own set of challenges. One of the main issues is the country's erratic power supply. With frequent blackouts and power rationing, maintaining a reliable charging network can be an uphill battle. Another challenge is the high cost of setting up charging stations. From purchasing the charging equipment to installing it and maintaining the station, the expenses can add up quickly. This has been a deterrent for many potential investors in the sector. Then there's the issue of accessibility. In a country where a significant portion of the population lives in rural areas, ensuring that these charging stations are accessible to everyone is a challenge. This means that the infrastructure needs to extend beyond the urban centers, a task that's easier said than done. Despite these challenges, Ethiopia isn't backing down. The country is determined to build a charging infrastructure that can support the growing number of electric vehicles on its roads. It's a process that requires time, effort, and significant investment. But with the government's commitment and the growing interest from private companies, Ethiopia is on the right track. While there are hurdles in setting up the charging infrastructure, Ethiopia is making steady progress. Now, let's talk about money. Are these EVs affordable for the common man in Ethiopia? Well, to give a straightforward answer, the price range of electric vehicles in Ethiopia varies significantly. You could find a compact economy class EV for the price of a mid-range conventional car. Or, on the other end of the spectrum, there are luxury EVs that come with a more premium price tag. But here's the thing. When we factor in the cost of ownership, that includes the cost of fuel, maintenance and repairs, EVs often end up being cheaper in the long run. They require less upkeep and electricity is cheaper than gas. And let's not forget about the government's role in this. Their incentives are making EVs more affordable. They're offering tax breaks, rebates, and other incentives that can significantly lower the upfront cost of an EV. While EVs are still a bit pricey, with the government's help, they are gradually coming within the reach of the average consumer. To revisit our discussion today, let's focus on the key points. We've witnessed the astonishing and swift expansion of electric vehicles, or EVs, in Ethiopia. This surge is driven primarily by the proliferation of tech-savvy consumers in an emerging market. We've also examined the current landscape variety of vehicles that are catching the public's attention and the escalating number of these eco-friendly automobiles on the streets. Our conversation then shifted to the price range of EVs, a significant determinant influencing consumer decisions. The Ethiopian market's response to these pricing patterns offers an insightful look into how cost can shape adoption rates. Ethiopia is indeed demonstrating how to navigate the EV revolution, providing a roadmap for other African nations. The coming years promise to be ripe with developments, and we'll be closely tracking this narrative as it evolves.